what they're doing now, make, they're making holograms. When you go to... Uh, uh, right. Absolutely. You know, if, if you go to Disney World, for instance, down there in the Haunted Mansion, you see the hologram, right? Oh, you can know how to make a hologram. Well, our scientists have learned how to make people. They call them synthetics. Are you familiar with those? Um, well, actually, we just interviewed John Lear, and he was talking about being in an audience in which they were given a lecture by a guy that they thought was real and found out later was he was a hologram. Well, it's a synthetic. A synthetic's when you touch their skin, it feels like uh, plastic almost. That's the latest technique. The old, the old techniques, uh, if you guys can rent a video, uh, the boys from Brazil, rent it because in it, it gives you the exact way it, how our government's been making people. Really? Yeah, well, come and the on. Soviets have a different method called... I mean, making people, meaning temporary people? No, walking, talking ones. Meaning through genetics? You're not talking about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me. Uh, the movie shows it, but I'll share it with you right now. All right. All I need to do is take two cells off of your body, yours. Uh-huh. We give them a small electrical charge. I'm just con con don't all act like a fertilized egg. If I got a fertilized egg, all I need is a receiver in order to make it. So they were hypnotizing women, you know, said they were in, being invaded by aliens. And the fetus starts growing, right? Needs mm -hmm. food. Well, they can use cows and sheep, too. It's, again, a food source. That's all we need. After about 14 weeks, all of a sudden, that fetus is gone. Because they've learned to take, that's when the fetus starts developing its own blood supply. Then they've used a pituitary hormone extract that they have, which accelerates the being that grows. And the original technology was given to our government by the grays. Now, the reason was that our scientists were all excited because we could have spare parts. If you need a heart or a liver or anything, you won't have any rejection. It's your own DNA, right? Okay, because theoretically, if we have overpopulation, we don't need more people.